Well, hey everybody, this is Derek and Dasha, and today I'm going to review Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Well, yeah, you know, if you look, look at the front of the cover, look at the back of the cover, you know. But um, this movie stars uh, Christina a Applegate. Yeah, Christina a Applegate. And, of course, the fact that the movie is about um, their mom going to either a meeting uh, cross-country or on a vacation or something like that. And, of course, uh, you know, the mom leaves the babysitter in charge, in charge, which is an old woman. And, of course, the old woman has this uh, strict rule, you know, uh, very strict rules, you know. And, of course, uh, you know, they make you hate the babysitter right away. You know, you don't give a shit about her. What happens to her, okay? When, you know, she uh, starts making rules for the kids, this and that, and then, of course, uh, you know, this guy over here with the guitar and the long hair, when that guy, you know, she goes inside his room to check up on him. He's not there, and, of course, that... She sees an uh, Iron Manage, uh, Iron Maiden poster of, uh, you know, the famous iconic uh, Iron Maiden poster. And, of course, she gets a heart attack from it and seeing all this rock stuff, you know, that this guy has in his room. You know, of course, the, the bitchy grandmother, not grandmother, uh, babysitter dies. And, of course, that... You know, they have to get rid of the body somehow. They, they uh, drop it off at a morgue. And, of course, uh, Christina Applegate's character, you know, has to, uh, you know, get a job or something like that in, you know, fashion. You know, and, of course, she, that she's got to take care of the kids. And, you know, basically, I don't want to spoil the movie, but, um, you know, very good movie. You know, cinematography is excellent. Everything is excellent about the movie. You know, um, the direction of the movie I like. You know, killing off the bitchy babysitter. And, you know, her actually, you know, taking care of the kids, you know. I like I like that direction. You know, um, other than that, you know, um, uh, everything was good. You know, the cinematography, the... You know, the, the sets, you know, all of that. Five out of five. You know, five out of five. And, uh, you know, very good comedy, too. Uh, some funny scenes, you know. But, um... You know, I'll just mention one part. Spoiler alert. When, you know... When he gets high and eats waffles with his friends. Uh, you know, where is he? The little brother goes up on the roof to try to fix uh, the TV. And, of course, the fact that, you know, he thinks it's cool. You know, he thinks it's cool because he's high. That, you know, he sees the little brother going on the roof and shit. You know, of course, when you're high or drunk, you think everything is cool. You know, um, um, I remember I got drunk off my ass. And I thought, you know, um, you know, somebody, uh, you know, driving a car was awesome, you know, like, shit like that, you know, um, you know, I could, rel I could, uh, you know, relate to him, I understand what that's like, you know, but, um, seriously, um, you know, um, I don't know what else to say, but, you know, that girl is in here, you know, the, the, the girl from Dr. Giggles, uh, I forgot her name. I think it was Deborah Tucker. She was also in Meatballs 4 and something else. I forgot what other movie, but, you know. Um, if you do see her, she has um, orange hair in the movie, but I, for I forgot her character's name in the movie. But, you know, just look for Deborah Tucker in the film, you know. But um, other than that, um, I don't know what else to say about this movie, but, you know, a, a great classic underlooked gym, you know, and all I can remember is, you know, as a kid watching this movie, like, every day, you know, because, 
you know, this guy had this video on a store, of course it went out of business, and of course he gave a bunch of tapes to our mom. So yeah, that's how, you know, I found out about this movie, you know. And ever since then, you know, I, I, I still love this movie to this day, you know. And, you know, you, you could, uh, you know, see that it's by HBO Films. I don't know if you can see it or not. HBO Films. You know, I don't know if this has a theatrical release or just, you know, a home video release. I don't know, really, but maybe you could look it up or something on it. On some kind of website, I don't know, but, um, you know, this movie, um, great gem, you know, um, if you ever get a chance to, you know, go buy it right now, just go buy it, trust me on that, go buy it, or, or get it off of eBay or Amazon, alright, great movie.